what's going on guys uh <laughs> it's been a long ass time since i made my last uh lesson um you know me you know how i work i'll be saying yeah part two coming uh getting uploaded <laughs> but it doesn't actually come in <laughs> uh i apologize for that but we're gonna go over in this lesson. We're gonna go over. Uh, it's just a continuation of lesson five. It's gonna be hopefully pretty short. I'm gonna try to keep this under ten minutes. Keep it very brief. But we're gonna be continuing off lesson five. Like I said, um, there is a little snippet that I missed in the last one. But you know how I am. The episodes are kind of unnecessarily long, so that could be pretty damn annoying. But it's just logical operators and conditional statements and basically all of that with just two new additions into the table okay uh but besides that i'm gonna you know as you can see right here kind of like just let everybody know i uh kind of have like a proper schedule kind of in my life now um so i'm kind of be i'm gonna be doing things on point basically you know i'm, I'm gonna try to stick to this and, you know, just see how it works. Um, but, yeah, as of right now, I'm going to be trying to fit in two episodes on work days. On business days, uh, Monday to Friday. Uh, usually, probably gonna, I'm going to try to do Monday and then an episode on Wednesday or Thursday. And potentially Friday, depending on how I feel. That's pretty much it. All right. So, we're just going to get into this really quickly. All right. So... Oh, I should actually make this conditional continued. Let me do that real quick. Conditional statements continued. Okay. All right. So as you guys remember, we kind of went over you know a few basic operators last time. Um, uh, we went over if, if and then, which is conditional statements. Basically, if you reach a condition or, you know, the condition that you create, uh, run code. Uh, in our case here, we have if and then if something is equal to this or if it's not equal to that, then do this. Otherwise, just end the thing. All right. Now, this is where else if and else come into play. Okay. So say we have. Okay. Let's, let me just do this real quick. So say we have one condition that actually works, right? Let's make, let's use this, all right? So if value equal equal false, then print hello. This is obviously going to print hello because it works. Now, what if we say we make it so that something else runs if this condition here is not true. So if we do if value equal equal true, print hello. And as we all know, we won't print anything. Now, what if we do else? False condition. False condition. It prints false condition. So the, basically, the way to think about this is, this is going to be the opposite of the thing you got going on here. Right, I could make a bunch of things if one equal equal one, and two equal equal two, and three equal equal three. Print hello, and it's going to print hello. But what if I do? If one equal equal one and two doesn't equal two and three equal three, it's going to print false condition. Okay. Now, what is this useful for? This is useful for, like I said earlier, it's it's useful for if you're trying to have a condition be reached and it doesn't end up getting reached, then you, if you really want something else to be run, if it's not reached, then you use else. And another thing you could use here is else if. Now, else if basically is what we've got right here, but it adds another condition to it, okay? So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go back to the basic one that we got going on there. If value equal false, okay. Once again, 
reference hello. Let's do warn false condition. All right, now if we do else if, if value equals false, then do that. Okay, I'm gonna do that to true, okay? Let me just comment that out real quick. Just make sure y'all know, uh, know, it's a false condition, okay? Now, again, this is kind of how it works, okay? So here we got the first condition here, right? If value equals true, then print hello, but it doesn't. So now we're gonna do another condition, but this time we're doing else if. So now this is being more, more direct. It's being way more direct instead of just doing else. Cause this, technically these two right here work like infinitely, no matter what you do. And what I mean by that is um, if one condition here is not equal to true or it's something that you don't want, it'll always show up here and, and else. But if you make it like this, else if, now you're making both of these very specific. So it has to be either one thing, and if it's not that thing, check if it's another thing. And if it is, then do what you got going on there. So. It's going to print false condition and notice it works the exact same thing if we comment that out real quick and we do false condition right there or we just uh, do else we got six minutes on the clock all right okay let's see i was going to get another example here and this is where it gets tricky you can actually put another else inside there i believe uh, let me see this is pretty gross i don't recommend you do this at all but I mean, you could do this. Uh, you could do either equal or nil. This is where it gets a lot more complex. So now, now it's literally doing if if this one isn't equal to, or if this is uh, if this condition works, then print hello. Obviously, it does it. Now we're gonna check if it's equal to the second condition that we got going on it's not so, so then we're gonna because we're just gonna add it else here and it's gonna basically go through here right okay that kind of explained that wrong let me redo that uh we iterate through this first uh try to print hello in this case it won't then we're gonna go to our second option is if it's equal to nil then warn false condition and this one is specific very specific and this one here is broad so if this condition is not equal to true no matter what we're gonna do whatever we got going on there now you could even add on to this even more you can add multiple else if in a single um i don't even know what i would call that single scope it's not really scope yeah it's not scope but single if statement there we go yeah now we can do another thing here is if value is equal to one and print more than one else if, if value is equal to two print two let's do equal to two to one okay All right, so we're gonna go through to the first ancestor, the whole thing right here, the whole if statement. If it's equal to true, print hello, which is not. So then we're gonna go back to the second, second to the option here. Check if it's equal to nil. Obviously it's not. Then we're gonna go back to the next one. We're gonna go to the next one. It keeps going down the line. So we do two. We just punch that in right there equal to two right there put one equal to one and now it's kind of that's kind of how it goes from there um play around with that really that's that's all i can recommend for you guys you know just like before the best way to learn to learn from these um these videos is pause the video and experiment it yourself 
So what I recommend you guys do is um, you kind of get this down here and then you apply it with new things that you've learned in other videos. Um, check if the transparency is equal to something. Like say it's equal to, try to check if it's equal to one. And then you put an else if. A transparency equals 0 0.5 then equal to. 5 and then maybe change the color to something different right to like blue That's kind of what would go, uh, what happened. See, it's printing code ran because obviously d1.transparency is equal to one. Uh, let's just make it different here. Let me change that code to something else. And now, there we go. Just so we know what's got we have going on here. Uh, let's change this now to yellow. Where's Scion? Or purple. <clears throat> the color has changed. Okay. Oh, that's gonna wrap this video. Definitely not under 10 minutes. Uh okay. See you guys next time.